Hi, welcome to Chick Beer with Hophead and Porter. That's Hophead, and that's Porter, and I'm Anaerobic Fermentation. Hi, Anaerobic Fermentation. It's <laughs> awesome Hi. to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> Real quickly, would you like to describe what your name means to the audience? Yeah, it's the um, process that the uh, yeast goes through to produce alcohol, and um, it converts sugar, well, it converts the sugar into alcohol. Basically, is what happened. Perfect name. He would love it if he was able to do that in his own body. I would. <laughs> so would all of us, actually. I think. <laughs> that would be. I'd be a lot richer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> IP, really good beer. <laughs> <laughs> no one would be hit with the ladies. <laughs> I'd dry hop myself. <laughs> okay. All right. So tonight's <laughs> episode. We are going to be having the Long Trail Double IPA Brewmaster Series. Brewmasters. Bruno. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is an Indian Pale Ale. And double. Double, mm. sorry. Uh, and the alcohol by volume content is 8.6. So that means so. I went to work pretty hard in that bottle. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Anaerobic fermentation. So yeah, let's pop this open. Yep. Now for the uncorking. <coughs> it doesn't actually have a cork. No. <laughs> Hear that? Very exciting. Hear that? We've got some smoke pouring out of the bottle there. That would be uh, carbon dioxide. Thank you very much. Part of my process. All right. Oh, that's, that would be nice. Shut up. Whoa. Okay, then. Hospitality pisses Porter off. No, it doesn't. It's bad because Porter is another name for someone that carries bags. <laughs> it's true. As this anaerobic fermentation as he gets to work instantly. Smells like something Hophead's gonna like. It yeah. has a little hoppy smell. It's very aromatic. It is. Mm -hmm. It's not as hoppy smelling as the white belt was, but it is. But it is quite cloudy though. You can definitely, yeah, it is very cloudy. Mm. You can't see it all through that. It's I can barely see the shadow sure. of my fingers on the glass, actually. It's that opaque. And but it's, it's not very. Like a, sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's not terribly fizzy either, but uh, it does no. have its. It does have a few hints of carbonation in there. Uh, the head's very white. As some beers carry their color through the head, this beer does not happen to do that. No. And it's kind of like a, it's not, it's a, like an amber color. An apricot, apricot color. color. That apricot. is totally yeah. apricot. Tan. Absolutely. And Guys, it's got a really light right. scent, but it is very... It does, but you can smell that it's going to be bitter. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Come on, go for it. <laughs> Cheers. 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 This is very hoppy. It's very very good hoppy, too. but it's not that bitter though. I thought it was going to be more bitter. The bitterness is just in the front; it goes away completely at the back. Yeah, and the end, the end's just hop. It's not bitter at all, I and mean, no. even in the back of the tongue. It's kind of just sweet. Yeah, it it's is. got a really sweet hoppiness. fruity flavor this to it. This is really good. Yeah, it changes completely. Absolutely. I can almost feel like a lime right in the like yeah, right in the middle tongue. of my tongue. Yeah, mid -tongue. Exactly. Yeah. I can, it's it like is right there. Dead stop. Yeah, and it and just, it's just it like, changes whoop, instantly cool. once you get to the bitter yeah. and uh, the tart part of your tongue where it picks up, you know, that sweet flavor. It does still have that dryness at the end though. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I would oh, agree. That's amazing. You totally feel where it stops. So mm -hmm. good. This is delicious. It's wonderful. This is it's fruity, it does, it's fruity in there too. It's Absolutely. I would taste a, um, I actually taste a little bit of apricots. Wow. Mm. Yeah, right um, at the front. Yeah. Maybe a little even. And then even. it kind of rolls into, mm. Yeah, it gets, it's That's real really sweet, good. then it gets really bitter. And then it just gets hoppy and kind of not smooth. No, it's more tart but, almost than the bitter. Yeah, it's yeah. like a pomegranate. And it's like an sweet. instant change. That's a good way to describe it. Yes, it is. Even though it doesn't With taste that, like pomegranates, it has the same yeah. kind of mouthfeel when it changes. Like, 
You know, when you eat a little pomegranate seed, it goes from sweet to bitter, or not bitter, but tart like, like instantly. Mm -hmm. instantly. This is a cool beer. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. Very, very cool. I like it all very much. So, what would you pair this with? Mm, this, this, this is this crying is out for something favorite. either salty? I think salty more than sweet. I don't know. I don't think sweet could go with that. It's really sweet to begin with. I think salty too, but I don't think salty like a pretzel. I think salty like potato chips. I disagree entirely. I think fish, or something light like chicken, would go very wonderfully with it. But nothing, nothing like a, like a steak or a pork because no, that, no, no, no. that would cover up the flavor. And I wouldn't mm -hmm. go with anything rich, like no rich sauces or anything like no, that. No, this you could actually make a sauce out of this to probably be better than the, this, any type mm -hmm. of sauce. Like I, I would envision maybe being able to make a sauce, mm -hmm. like a reduction of a beer reduction. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before, and if they have, kudos to you because I think we're gonna try it. <laughs> Put some sliced yeah. apricots on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be great. An apricot, apricot reduction apricot. with a with this pale ale. And, you want something light though. I think a light white fish, like not like a white fish, like the brand white fish, you know, like the, you know, they swim around and they say white fish on them. Mm. Like a white They all have fish. signs. Yeah. <laughs> not like a tuna, not a heavy fish tuna blankets. or like a salmon We're or anything, but like, you know, a tilapia or a, or a red snapper, anything like that. You know, something light as far as fish goes. Even crab will probably work for Well, good. I. Or shrimp. Disagree with you. Oh, it's fine. I mean, I'm here to be a counterpoint. I'm anaerobic well, That's fine. Mm. Me off, <laughs> like I disagree, and let me tell you why I don't care if you're still talking. <laughs> Just like my life. <laughs> I find IPAs terribly refreshing too. Like, there's nothing better on a hot day. Terribly refreshing. <laughs> there's nothing better on a hot day. Mm, it's so good. It's so good. It's nice it's cold evil. IPA. And <laughs> You know, this is no exception. No exception whatsoever. I, I would recommend this as a nice cold drink after you've been out doing whatever you do outside, mowing lawns or whatever the hell you do. Or, whatever it is you do outside. Well, even if you go outside, you mow your lawn, you want to come in, you have a beer, it's, you don't want a, a, a heavy, a heavy, heavy lager or a... This is strong for if you're planning on going and doing more, though. Unless you're a wimp, then of course. Well, that's strong. that's a matter of perspective, though. Yeah, I guess wimp is a yeah. matter of perspective because <laughs> everyone's a wimp to anaerobic fermentation. So, there happen. Would you buy a six pack of this? I would buy a six pack of this. Definitely, absolutely, I'd buy a case of this. I love it. I love it if you like hoppy beer, if you like bitter beer, this is one to try. Definitely mark it down, put it on your calendar. Coming soon. <laughs> mouth near you. <laughs> I'm still As I just dribbled cool. down my shirt, everyone look. <laughs> I, I'm feeling Party backwards out. too. He just fermented. I did. <laughs> I would. I'd buy a six pack and then some. Um, I'm pretty sure that it comes in only in large bottles because it's like a limited kind of thing. But, well, uh, around here, it might. It's possible somewhere else, maybe in Vermont. They are really large you know. bottles. Um, but I'd buy a 12 pack of those bottles. It comes like a case of wine, yeah. usually. And I, I would if I had the money. But if I had the money, I'd buy a case of just about everything. Um, that's not really giving that a good recommendation. But. All, all that aside, yes, I would definitely buy more than one bottle of that, or a six pack or anything. <laughs> well, that's it this week for Chick Beer. If you have any questions or recommendations, email hophead at hopheadandporter.com or check out the website at hopheadandporter.com. You definitely should. Woo. Lots of good videos, lots of good beers, and we love feedback. Yeah, so please Talk comment, us. email us. We love it. We will email you back directly and personally and within 24 hours. You might even get some fizz from anaerobic fermentation. We'll include a packet of fizz mm. in every email. Fair enough. Yeah. Cheers. 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 We'll see you next week. Bye.